It's time for another food adventure. Let's go. What's up? Oh my god. <laughs> How's it going? Hey. Yeah, you wanna get some food? What are we eating? Steak. Yeah, I would do that. Should we take Adam? Of course. Hey Adam. What, what is happening? All right, Andrew. Today we're eating three steaks no, at three that's different prices. <laughs> Today we are eating three different steaks at three different price points, and we're gonna find out which one is the most worth it at its price. The most worth it. Because, because the that's show what name we're calling this show. It's called Worth It. Worth It. How do we want to judge these steaks? I think we should get medium rare. I mean, that's the only way to eat steak, right? It's not the only way, but it is the best way. Ten dollars for parking? Jeez, a loo. Hashtag not worth it. Which is funny because the first steak is actually eleven dollars. I hope this isn't a mistake. <laughs> oh. That was terrible. If a vampire comes along, maybe I'll have to kill it with a steak. I'm so done with your puns. We'll get ready for more because it's going to be punishment. My name is Shirley Ying and I'm the manager of Uncle John's Cafe. Originally, the owner started it as an American diner and a Chinese owner purchased the business. So we incorporated Chinese food in it. You can get pancakes or yeah, unconventional with a chow mein. It just works. This diner is my childhood because that's what I would eat growing up. We're going to serve you guys the Uncle John's steak and eggs. We start off with a cut of New York steak. It's about eight ounces. We marinate it with a little bit of soy sauce, garlic salt, salt and pepper. And it's $11. $11. And it's not only the steak, it comes with two eggs, however you like it. And it also comes with a side and toast. How can you provide it at this price. We have other items on the menu that helps outweigh the cost of the steak. For a diner, you need the steak and eggs. And it's just on the menu because people want steak and eggs for breakfast. Not just $11 steak, $11 steak plus fried eggs plus pancakes. And they have Thai tea here. And black coffee. Cheers. This is probably the most excited I've ever been for a meal in my life. That is so good. Whoa. Yeah, dog. She knew what she was doing. We have to cheers the steak. How about we like elbow touch, like we just touch forks. Mm, yeah, that's good. Look at that delicious morsel. My mom used to cook steak for me growing up. This is exactly the same recipe she would use. Love you, Mama Lynn. Let's get real here. This is America on a plate. Fried rice, two eggs, a giant ass steak. Ketchup, syrup, chili oil, salt, pepper, A16 sauce, sriracha. This is seriously one of the best meals I've ever had in my life. I can tell you right now, this wins. You're not gonna find a better deal on steak anywhere. It's okay, man. Let's go to the next place, I guess. Let's go. Wow. You know, that steak was really good. Hello? Hey mom, how's it going? Oh, my God. So we ate steak, and on the side was fried rice and eggs. Oh, that sounds like my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> it was really good. I'm here with Andrew and Adam, too. <laughs> yes. All right, love you too. Bye. Ready for a medium rare steak fact. Steak fact! Did you know that you're more likely to die from a cow than a shark? Describe a cow-related death. You know, sometimes cows get tired of you milking it, and they just they just revolt. What's our band name? How do we feel about the three Buzzketeers? That was a fan favorite. Mm. It'll grow on you. Nothing grows on me, except hair. Probably some moles. My name is Andreas Roller. I'm the executive chef here at Nick and Seth Steakhouse in downtown LA. Here we have our beautiful 28-day dry-aged prime bone-in ribeye. We dry-age here uh, on premises. So why, why do you dry-age? Maybe not the right term, but it's a little bit like spoiling on a very controlled level yeah. to tenderize the uh, meat. This little fur here, you know, it might look a little scary, this piece. We cut all this off. This is an indication that the dry-aging process has happened correctly. Another thing that happens is kind of like when you reduce a sauce, as there is less moisture, flavors get Intensified. So this is not dry aged This yet. is not dry aged, just arrived yesterday. It's still pretty moist and this has been 28 days in the dry age. This is the real deal. Here you see I put a lot of salt and you know a lot of people when they first see this they're like oh my god this is a lot of salt. But believe me at 28 ounces you want to make sure your steak is well seasoned. So we're putting our steaks on. What we're looking for here is to get that caramelized crust on the outside. The characteristic of the flavor I always describe it as like it has a bit nuttiness you know when you have a cheese that is matured. It's like a good Good stinkiness. Yes. Yeah. Andrew. Steven. This is the greatest presentation we've ever received on this show. I'm actually very confused because this is only our second stop of the day. Oh my goodness. Do you see that? My knife has never had an easier time going through me. Cheers. Wow. Yeah, holy moly. This is how people live. 
<laughs> it's like a satisfying savory taffy. Perfectly tender, you gotta chew it for a second, and then it just dissolves into your mouth. Sometimes when you get things this big, you get tired of them. No, no that doesn't yeah. happen here. I'm also gonna say that eating this steak with this big boy knife really does a lot for the whole experience. That was way good. We have one more steak to eat. Are you ready? This is my burden to bear now. That steak was magnificent. I definitely went into that steak situation thinking, I know what steaks are gonna taste like. So steak fact. Steak fact. This is the best fact we've ever had. In a drought, beef prices rise. That's it. That's it. In a drought, the price of everything rises. It's not it's drought. drought. Hot air. It's, I feel. <laughs> We're in Beverly Hills, baby. How could this steak be more worth than the last two? Um, I guess like come from a fancier cow. I am Hillary, the chef de cuisine at Cut Beverly Hills. Today I'm grilling two steaks. I'm grilling a dry aged New York strip steak that's dry aged for 35 days. The dry age is $48. That's actually a pretty good deal. It's yeah. a great deal. The other steak is a Japanese New York strip, $25 an ounce. So what separates this $25 an ounce steak? This Japanese beef is from Miyazaki Prefecture. These cattle have been bred for thousands of years. I have a certificate that tells me all about this animal. You can trace it back 80 years. So who are we eating today? What's I don't want to give us a name. We're about to eat the food. Yeah, but it's a beautiful product, so we should respect it. And exactly. Like... This is the reason that cow was raised, for you to enjoy it. We're going to be eating Kango today. Order in a steak. It gets seasoned with our house steak sauce, quite a few ingredients. And then it's grilled over white oak and charcoal. And then the steak comes off, it rests, and we flash it in our 1200 degree broiler. Brush it with a little garlic butter, fleur de sel, and to your table. So this whole process takes about how long? Is it an eyeball thing? Is it uh, you're counting? No, you feel it. After you do it for so long, you feel it. Is there a better cut of steak in the world? If there is, I haven't had it yet. Did you hear that? That's fresh. Definitely feel the breeze off the ocean on that one. That's a nice little appetizer. Chef Hillary wanted us to first try her $48 dry aged prime New York strip. Like a hot knife through butter. Cheers. Very interesting. That was a wonderfully tender steak. It was a nice dance. Let's do your steak dance. All right, stop that. And now the grand finale, Japanese beef from Miyazaki. My nose is having almost as much fun as my mouth is on this one. Let me select us some delightful morsels to eat. My heart is racing right now. Okay, that was the most fun I've ever had cutting something before. Cheers. <laughs> Okay, that's the one. That is a completely new thing. This fat marbled into every single bite that you get. It tastes like pure luxury. I'm like embarrassed to be watched eating this because it's like something so pleasurable shouldn't be done in public. Do we let camera guy have some? Yeah, we should. <laughs> It's the first time I've seen Adam really smile before in my life. Ridiculous. Was this worth it? A thousand percent, yes. So you're gonna come back here? Yes, I'm gonna bring my girlfriend back here. If you were to use one final word to describe this entire experience, what would that word be? Legendary. Seriously though, candy corn? Fine. Which steak was the most worth it at its price? No restaurant has understood who I am as a human being more than Uncle John's. I think Uncle John's is the only one that you cannot argue that it isn't worth it. This is the hardest decision I've ever had to make on this show. I can't believe I'm saying this. Cut wins. You can't pay to have your life change like that. I think I choose Nick and Stuff. There were a lot of different things happening in that steak. The steak itself was a journey. Adam, what's your winner? Three Musketeers. Well, that was a worth it episode. Well done. Oh my gosh, okay. Can we cut the video? Stop, end this now. Rare experience. No.